Hello, hello everyone. My name is Zakaru Fardo, and I'm here to discuss what is nuclear power plants. Now let's begin. What is a nuclear power station? The nuclear power station is the breeding ground of civil nuclear power across the world. According to the World Nuclear Association, nuclear power forms at about 11% of the world's electricity, with 450 reactors providing 424 gigawatts of power, making it the second largest source of low carbon power in the world. So, which means na ito niya, nuclear power station, mina siya ang ikaduwa nga pinakadakwa sa pinakadako nga naga supplier sang electricity na gagamit sang low carbon. Kag siya ang naga made up sang 11% nga power or electricity nga ginagamit naton sa bilog nga kalibutan. Now, let's move on to its, ano, kung paano siya mag-produce electricity. A nuclear reactor produce elect produces electricity. A nuclear power reactor produces and controls the release of energy from splitting the atoms of certain elements. In a nuclear power reactor, the energy release is used as heat to make steam to generate electricity. The principles for using nuclear power to produce electricity are the same for most types of reactor. The energy released from continuous fission of the atoms or the fuel is harnessed as heat in either, in either a gas or water and is used to produce steam. The steam is used to drive the turbines which produce electricity or as in most fuel, fossil fuel plants. The world's first nuclear reactors operated naturally in a uranium deposit about 2 billion years ago. These were rich in uranium or bodies and moderated by percolating rainwater. The 17 known at Oklo in West, in West Africa, each less than 100 kilowatts thermal, together consumed about 6 tons of uranium. It is assumed that these were not unique worldwide. Today, reactors derived from designs originally developed for propelling submarines and large naval ships generate about 85% of the world's nuclear electricity. The main design is the pressurized water reactor or the, P or the PWR which has water at over 300 degrees Celsius under pressure in its primary cooling or heat transfer circuit and it and generates steam in a secondary unit. The less numerous boiling water reactor or BWR makes steam in the primary coolant in the, in the primary circuit above the reactor core, at similar temperatures and pressure, both types use water as both coolant and moderator to slow neutrons since water normally boils at 100 degrees Celsius, they have robust tilt pressure vessels or tubes to enable the higher operating temperature. Or in another type uses heavy water with deuterium atoms as moderators, hence the term light water and heavy water is used to differentiate the, the components of a nuclear reactor. For, we have several components of nuclear reactors, but let's start with the most common, common or the most used component we have is the fuel. Uranium is the best basic fuel. Is the basic fuel usually pellets of uranium oxide or UO2 are arranged in tubes to form fuel rods. The rods are arranged into fuel assemble in the reactor core. In a 1000 MWE class PWR, there might be 51,000 fuel rods with over 18 million pellets. So, ang fuel naton, balaan naman naton kung anong gamit ang fuel, di ba? Muna siya nagapagana sa aton, nga device, etc. Kung ano man da. Sa case ng aton nga nuclear reactor, ang ginagamit ta is uranium. Ang uranium gina gina ano ta siya? Gina painitan then ang iya mga atoms naga fission sa iban nga atoms which creates energy nga naga drive, naga make yun sang steam. Ang steam nga ina muna siya magpropel sang aton nga propeller like para sa principles ng dynamo para abi maginit na siya, imamay gagawa ng steam once i-contain mo na ang 
team nga ina kita mo na ang daw may power na sa dyan nga may pressure muna siya ang pressure, muna siya ang steam maigo sa ito nga propeller then ang propeller matiog na, tapos ang sa propeller man, agad generate na siya dyan sa electricity na ton then we have is the moderator material in the core which slows down the neutrons released from fission so that they can cause more fission it is usually water but maybe heavy water or graphite moderator na ton also known as water kay mostly ginagamit is water good man since ta siya nga ano iya boiling point kay 100 degree celsius ang aton boiling point ang water gina slow down niya ang aton nga nyo Uh, ang neutrons nga nagarilis ang nga release sa fission para mag fission naman siya liwat bali daw sa ano bala sa ginagamit naton daw bali recycle ng bala or ginagamit agad ang pwede naton nga magamit sa iya we have next next component is we have the control rods or blades these are made with neutro, neutron absorbing material such as cadmium half mium or boron and are inserted or withdrawn from the core to control the rate of reactors or to halt it in some PWR, PWR reactors special control rods are used to enable the core to sustain a low level of power efficiently or secondary control systems involve other neutrons absorbers usually if boron in the coolant in the coolant it is concentration it Its concentration can be adjusted over time as the fuel burns up or PWR control rods are inserted from from the top. BWR cruci uh, cruciform blades from the bottom to the core. Control rods natin. Kag blades, bali nagavari ang pagamit sa iya. Depende sa klase ng reactor nga ginagamit ta. PWR or BWR. So PWR natin, natin ang control rods natin ginagamit natin i-insert natin siya sa top sa aton nga reactor tapos sa aton nga BWR sa bottom sa core natin so ilmina ilap ginkalain sa aton nga reactor ang paggamit sa ano gali sa paggamit sa control rods sa sari sari nga reactors next component is we have the coolant coolant is a fluid circulating through the core so as to transfer the heat from it. In light water reactors, the water moderator functions also as primary coolant. Except in BWR, there is, there is a secondary coolant circuit where the water becomes steam. So, ang aton coolant, ginagamit na for me, water man Japan, like moderator na ton, water man, coolant na ton, water man, kahit taas siya boiling point, unlike sa uranium sa fuel na ton manubo iya nga boiling point we have the next component is we have the pressure vessel or pressure tubes usually a robust steel vessel containing the reactor and, moder and moderator or coolant but it may be a series a series of tubes holding the fuel and conveying the coolant to the surrounding moderator pressure vessel na ton iya function is ano is tubes muna siya ang naga naga contain sa aton nga steam bala sa sulod ang pressure sa aton nga steam kag muna siya ang abe daw pathway sa aton nga steam kung din siya magderitso we have the next we have the steam generator part of the cooling system of pressurized water reactors PWR and PHWR where the high pressure primary primary coolant bringing that heat from the reactor is used to make steam for the turbine in a secondary circuit essentially a heat exchanger like a motor or cardiator or cardiator so balis silingon sa aton nga steam generator para sa motor daw aton nga carb carb naton or radiator gali naton mina siya ang at ang like ya bala function sang aton nga steam generator now we next we have is the containment the 
the structure around the reactors and associated steam generators which is designated to protect it from outside intrusion and to protect the out those outside from the effects of radiation in case of any serious malfunction inside. It is typical, typically a meter thick con concrete and steel structure and some other reactors install core melt lo localization devices or core catchers under the pressure vessel to catch any melted core material in the event of a major accident. There are several types of reactor as indicated in the following table. Now, let's discuss what, how to fuel nuclear reactors. Most reactor need needs to be shut down for refueling so that the reactor vessel can be opened up. In this case, refueling is at intervals of 12, 18, or 24 months. When a quarter to a third of the fuel assembles are replaced with fresh ones, the CANDO or CANDO and RM, RBM key types have pressure tubes or rather than a pressure vessel enclosing the reactor core and can be refueled under load by disconnecting individual pressure tubes. The IGR is also designated for fueling on load. If graphite or heavy water is used as moderator, it is impossible to run a power reactor on, nat on natural instead of enriched uranium. Natural uranium has the same elemental composition as when it was mined, zero, kongin mined from 0.7% U over 235 over 9.2 over 99.2 percent into U to U 238. Or enriched uranium has had the proportion of the fissile isotope or U235 increased by a process called enrichment commonly to a 3.5 or 5% in this case the moderator can be original ordinary water and such reactors are collectively called water reactors because the light water absorbs neutrons as well as lowering the as them it is less efficient as the moderator than heavy water or graphite some new small reactor design require high assay low enriched uranium fuel enriched to near 20 percent with u235 during operation operation some of some of the u238 is changed to plutonium and pu239 ends up providing about one third of the energy from the fuel Now let's move on to how nuclear energy is made. Nuclear plants are, dif are different to energy plants such as coal and natural gas. Despite being a thermal gener generation process, they do not need to burn anything to create steam. In a nuclear power plant, uranium atoms are, sp are split in a process called fission, which requires low enriched uranium fuel. Uranium fuel is formed into pellets one of which can produce as much energy as one ton of coal, three barrels of oil or 17,000 cubic feet of natural gas. These pellets are generally stuck into 12-foot metal fuel rods, which are grouped together in bundles that are called fuel assemblies. Thanks to nuclear fission, heat and neutrons are released from uranium. As the atoms split, the neutron hit other ur uranium atoms causing them to split. Continuing the cycle, meanwhile, the release heat causes water within the reactor to boil, which in turn creates the steam that powers the turbine, which powers the generators to make electricity. So, dapat na una, tanin siya discuss, pero i-discuss naman siya. Ang aton nga nuclear energy, nagamit, ang aton nga nagamit, ang, naga, um, ano ni, ang products ang uranium nga atoms nga gabunggo sa, uranium, sa another uranium atom, is called fission though what siling on since nagabunggo siya ang water na ara sa sulod niya or ato niya kulant nagainit hence naga create sang steam which mas mainit mas grabe ang steam then naga create siya din sang 
nagaprofil ginaprofil dyan niya sa steam na ton ang aton nga turbine daw same principle man Japan sa dynamo pero baliktad lang now let's discuss the types of our nuclear reactors there are two standard type of nuclear reactors firstly boiling water reactors or BWR which simply heat up water until it boils to spin turbines and generate electricity secondly pressurized water reactors or PWR which heat up water to close to boiling point before this water is pumped into a separate supply of water in this compartment it becomes steam that is used to power a turbine so most damo kita power reactors pero ang common dua lang kabilo dua kabilog bali ang una is ang aton boiling water reactors nga simple simple lang yang design then ang aton nga PWR or pressurized water reactors let's discuss uh, uh, what is boiling water reactor this type of reactor has many similarities to the PWR except that there is only one only a single circuit in which the water is at lower pressure or about 75 times at atmospheric pressure so that it boils in the core at about 285 degrees celsius the reactor is designed to operate within 12 to 15 percent of the water in the in the top part of the core as steam and hence this with less moderating effect and thus efficiency there bwr units can operate in load following mode more re readily than PWRs. The steam passes through dryer plates, steam separators above the core, and then directly to the turbines, which are which are thus part of the reactor circuit. Since the water around the core of a reactor is always contaminated with traces of radionuclides, it means that the turbine must be shielded and re radiological protection provided during maintenance. The cost of this of this tends to balance the savings due to the simpler design most of the reactive re radioactivity in the water is very short lived so the turbine hole can be entered soon after the reactor is shut down a BWR fuel assemble comprises 90 to 100 fuel rods and there are up to 750 assemblies in a nuclear in a reactor core holding up to 140 tons of uranium the second control system involves restricting water flow through the core so that the more steam, the top part reduces power moderation. Let's go to our another type is pressurized water reactor or PWR. This is the most common type with about 300 operable, operable reactors for power generation and several hundred more employed for naval propulsion. The design of PWRs originated as a submarine power plant. PWRs use ordinary water as both coolant and moderator. The design is distinguished by having a primary cooling circuit which flows through the core of the reactor under high pressure and the secondary un unit cir circuit in which steam is, steam is generated to drive the turbine. In Russia, these are known as VVER types wa or water moderated and cool and cool. A few a fuel a PWR has fuel assemblies of 200 to 300 rod, rods each arranged vertically in the core and a large reactor would have about 150 to 250 fuel assemblies with 80 to 100 tons of uranium water in the reactor core which is about 325 degrees celsius hence it must be kept under around 150 times atmospheric pressure to prevent it from to prevent it boiling pressure is maintained by steam in a pressurized seat in a pressure in a pressurizer in the primary cooling circuit the water is also the moderator and if any of it turned to be the steam the fission reaction would slow down the, this negative feedback effect is one of the safety features of the type the secondary shutdown system involves adding boron adding boron to the primary circuit the secondary circuit is under less pressure and the water here boils in the heat exchanges which are thus steam generators the steam drives the turbine to produce electricity and it, it is then condensed and turned to the heat exchangers in contact with the primary circuit let's discuss ang ato naman nga another type of ano nuclear reactor pero hindi man siya mas common 
kay atong duha mo to gid ang common nato nga ginaga nga makikita Le, ang isa is light water graphite moderated reactor or LWGR the main LWGR design is the RBMK a Soviet design developed from plutonium production reactors it employs long 7 meter vertical pressure tubes running through graphite moderator and is cooled by water which is allowed to boil in the core at 290 degrees celsius and at about 6.9 MPA, much as in a BWR, fuel is low in rich uranium oxide made up into fuel assemblies, assemblies 3.5 meter long, 3.5 meters long. With moderation, largely due to the fixed graphite, excess boiling simply, excess boiling simply reduces the cooling and neutron absorption without inhibiting the fission reaction, and a positive feedback problem can arise which is why they have never been built outside the Soviet Union which now may isa pag ka reactor is a fast neutron reactor or the FNR some reactors do not have a moderator and utilize fast neutrons generating power from plutonium while making more of it from U238 isotope in or around the fuel while they get more than 60 times as much energy from the original uranium compared with normal reactors, they are expensive to build. Further, further development of them is likely in the next decade, and the main design expected to be built in two decades are FNRs. If they are con configured to produce more fissile material or plutonium than they consume, they are called fast breeder reactors or FBR. Let's go to our advanced reactors. Several generation of reactors are commonly distinguished. Generation I reactors were developed in the 1950s and to 60s and the last one shut down at the end of 2015. They mostly use natural use natural uranium fuel and use graphite as moderator. Generation 2 reaction reactors are type Type, typified by the present U.S. fleet and, mo, the, and most in operation elsewhere. They typically use, wat, use water in rich uranium fuel and are mostly cooled and moderated by, what, by Russia by water. Generation 3 are the advanced reactor evolved from these, the first few of which are in operation in Japan and from early, from early 2018 in China. Russia and the UAE. Others are under construction from this, the first few of which are in operation in Japan and from early, and from early 2018 in China. Uh, see, uh, uh, there is no clear distinction between generation 2 and generation 3. Now, but we have generation 4 designs are still on the drawing board. They they will tend to have close fuel cycles and burn the long-lived actinides now forming part of spent fuel. So that fission products are the only high-level ways of seven designs under development with international collaboration. Four or five will fast neutron re reactors. Four will use fluoride or liquid metal coolants and three operate at low pressure. Two will be gas cooled by, by most run at much higher temperature than today's water cold reactors so that were the advanced reactors now let's go to floating nuclear power reactors apart from 200 nuclear power reactors powering powering various kinds of ships Rosatom in Russia has set up a Shadare to supply floating nuclear power plants ranging in size from 70 to 600 MWA. This will be mounted in, in pairs on a large, bar, large barge which will permanently moored where it is needed to supply power and possibly some desalination to assure settlement and industrial complex. The fur has 240 MWE reactors based on those in icebreaker and operates at a remote site in Siberia. Electricity cost is expensive to be much lower than the present alternatives. 
alternatives. So that is another type of our nuclear reactors. We have another react in another type. Kailan ay? Balay may tatlo pagit na type ng nuclear al. Be al last na to nga power rating. Uh, last type of reactor na to is the power rating of a nuclear reactor. Ah, muto na siya gali ang last type na to, ang floating nuclear power plants. Now we have, now we discuss the power rating of nat nuclear reactor na to. Nuclear plants reactor power outputs are coated in three ways. Thermal MWT, which depends on the design of the actual nuc nuclear reactor itself and relates to the quantity and quality of the steam it produces. Gross electrical MWE, which indicates the power produced by the attached steam turbine and generator, and also takes into account the ambient temperature for the condenser circuit, or the cooler means more electric power, warmer means less, means less. rated gross power assumes certain conditions with both. Net, net electrical MWE, which is the power available to be sent out from the plant to the grid, after deducting the electrical power needed to run the reactor or the cooling and feed water pumps, etc., and the rest of the plant. Now, let's discuss the lifetime of nuclear reactors. Most of today's nuclear plants, which were originally designed for 38 to 40 years operating lives, however, however with major, major investments in system, structures and components operating lifetimes can be extended and in several countries there are active programs programs to extend operation in the usa nearly all of the almost 100 reactors have been granted operating license extension from 40 to 60 years this justifies significant capital expenditure in upgrading systems and components including building extra performance margin margins some will operate for 80 years or more. So, what's in sa aton nga ang lifetime sa aton nuclear reactors is mostly is 30 to 40 years lang ang ginahatag sila. Pero since muna lang, daw para sa aton daw kadasig lang. So, why ma waste kita sa kwarta nga dira kag maobra naman sa bag-o? Naga not only we spent money, naga spend pagita sa time kag ang space nga gamito naton do kanugon man do waste na lang. so mas med na ma-invest kita para sa para ma-extend ta ang lifetime sa aton nga mga reactors since do makas makas other than ma other than money makas save kita sang space man bala do less pollution man gyapon ang gwa niya kung ma sige-sige ta lang siya nga gamit so let's discuss ang ato nga primary coolants. First is we have the water, water or heavy water. It must be maintained at high pressure with 1000 to 2200 psi or 1715 MPa or 150 atmospheres to enable it to function well above 100 degrees Celsius or up to 345 degrees Celsius. As in present reactors, this has the major influence on reactor engineering. However, supercritical water around 25 MPa can give 45% thermal efficiency as of some fossil fuel power plants today with outlet temperatures of 600 degrees Celsius and at ultra supercritical levels of 30 MPa, 30 plus MPa or 50% may be attained. Now we have another coolant is ang aton helium. Helium must be used at similar similar pressures, 1000 to 2000 psi or 7, 7 to 14 MPa to maintain sufficient density for efficient operation. However, even at 75 atm pressure, its heat capacity is only about 20 kilojoule or meter per per cube. Again. There are engineering implications from the high pressure required, but it can be used in the Brayton cycle to drive a turbine directly. We have the next we have the carbon dioxide. 
It was used in early British reactors and their current AGRs which operate at much higher temperature than light water reactors. It is denser than helium and thus likely to give better thermal conversion efficiency. It also leaks less readily than helium. There is now interest in supercritical CO2 for the Brayton cycle. So those are the cool, those are coolants and next we have so, sodium you have lead or lead bismuth you take you take and next the salt or the fluoride salts and the chloride salts and all low pressure liquid coolants muna lang sila itong mga coolants nga ginagamit pero mostly gidya ang ginagamit ta is water gid kay muna gid siya ang pinaka basic nga kag pinaka nami dabi sa reactors ng iyan da naton sa devices now we have the load following capability sa atong power plant now let's discuss the load following capability of our nuclear reactors nuclear power plants Nuclear power plants are best in best run continuously at high capacity capacity to meet base load demand in a grid system. If their power output is ramped up and down on a daily and weekly basis, the efficiency is compromised. And in this respect, they are they are similar to most coal-fired plants. However, in some situation, it is necessary to vary the output according to daily and weekly load cycles on a regular basis. For instance, in France. Where there, are, where there is a very high reliance on, on nuclear power, Arriva has developed its advanced load following control system for PWRs that automatically adjust the plant's electrical output according to the needs of the grid operator. It involves a software upgrade of the reactor control system which varies the plant outside output between 50% and 100% of, of its installed capacity without intervening of the operator. So, buts lingon ang aton nga ang load sang aton nga nuclear power plants. Naga depende man best but best bet best gid nga ang iya load naga um, ang nagagana gid siya continuously sa the same capacity sang aton nga system. Kay once nga magrap mag ano siya hindi siya mag continuously na wala nang hindi siya stable nang aton ang yang efficiency efficiency naga samad man that's why nga dapat stable gid siya para same man Japan iya nga iya pang produce ang electricity same wala naga fluctuate ang electricity naton now let's ano Let's discuss how nuclear reactors process heat. Producing steam to drive a turbine and generator is relatively easy, and a light water reactor running at 350 degrees Celsius does this readily. As the above section and figure show, other types of reactor are required at higher temperatures. A 2010 U.S. Department of Energy document quotes 500 degrees Celsius for a liquid metal cooled reactor or FNR to or 860 degrees Celsius for a molten salt reactor or MSR and 950 degrees Celsius for a high temperature gas cooled heater or HTR. Lower temperature reactors can be used with supplemental heating, gas heating to reach higher temperature though employing an DLWR would, be, would not be practical or economic. The DOS said that the high reactor outlet temperatures in the range 750 to 950 degrees Celsius were required to satisfy all end user requirements evaluated to date for the next generation power plant. So now let's go sang aton nga mga primitive reactors. The world's oldest known nuclear reactors operated at what is now Oklo in Gabon, West Africa, about two billion years ago. Wow, gay do gayid. At least 60 natural reactors. Nuclear reactors achieve crit critically, criticality in a high grade deposit of uranium or A17 was 
in the Baggombe deposit 30 km away it's operated intermittently that at about 20 kilowatt thermal the reaction in in ceasing whenever the water turned to steam so that it ceased to function as moderator at that time the concentration of U235 in all natural uranium was about 3.6 instead of 0.7 as at present U235 decays much faster than U238 those were isotopes I mean sa mga U whose half life is about the same as the age of earth when the earth was formed U-235 was about 30% of uranium. This natural chain reaction started spontaneously and con continued for overall for about 1 or 2 million years before finally dying away. So, ang a example, ang aton, yung primitive reactors are ang aton mga volcano. Depende kung di na ang klase ng volcano. Para sa Pilipinas, Taal, Taal Lake, dabi na aton which is ara sa ilog uh, which is ano dos um, ola sa lawa bla lawa or close space nga daluyan sa tubig which is nga ang ano sa tunga so ang yang ginagamit dra nga coolant is ang aton nga ang hot water ang gapalibot siya nga tubig then ang ya heat or ya steam ya heat na kalingid sa dalom sang duta which isa nga ito niya earth nga made up of magma then nagagawa siya sa ito niya volcano then and water ang ito niya water naga create siya sa steam which kung mag in, enough na ang steam naga alsa ang ito niya volcano ang magma sa volcano na ito which naga cause ng option though the same principle sa ito niya ginagamit since ang volcano nga volcano may patuwi na siya kalin sa kormo, pababaw. Muna siya ang aton nga tube. Ang aton high, pre, high pressure tubes or control tubes or bla rods or blades na aton. Which is naga ginapaagay niya dira ang nagas nag, nag tipon nga pressure sa dalong sa magma. Napagwa sa iya. Niya ginalupok. Now we have here the figure of our BWR and our PWR. Na ano? Na aton ya nuclear power reactor. Kung makita niyo dire sa BWR naton, ari dire ang iyari ako ari mini siya ang reactor vessels naton. Is once ari mga control rods naton, no? ari mga pathways. Once nga mapuno mag steam na na siya de, mag diretso na siya de dire tapos aton nga turbine malibot na yang ang turbine ton which then naga ano sang generator then i output is electricity where dire sa condenser na ton ang magsubra dire na turbine magwa siya di dabe dire dire condenser na dire naman siya libot-libot lang balik naman diyan kung pwede sa aton nga PWR daw the same lang si Gapon nga ano pero daw nag damo lang dabi ya ano damo lang ya mga parts oh alin dere sa pressurize daw gap ginapataas niya ang pressure na ton then diretso di sa steam turbine condenser naman diyon mas may mga feed water pa pa siya para hindi siya di ma maginig mas sobrang sang init since nga may pressure pressurize ni sa kadaan then aton generator is gwa electricity naman diyon balik-balik lang now let's discuss the pros and cons of our nuclear power. As nuclear power does not need to burn anything to create a steam, it does not emit greenhouse gases like methane or CO2, which is makabolig sa aton nga natural uh, sa sa pollution problems naton. Once a nuclear plant is up and running, the electricity it produces is inexpensive due to the low cost of uranium. Unlike wind and solar, nuclear is a consistent reliable source of energy which can run uninterrupted for up to a year so muna siyang at the pros siyang aton nga nuclear power and like sa wind kag sa solar or any panada nga water nga ginagakuan tas ang electricity ang aton niya nga nuclear is very is very consistent which is naga reliable source kinsa sang aton nga energy like sa solar wala adlaw gaulan 
wala siya solar, wala power. Which is uh, wind, wala hangin, wala gatiog ng turbine, wala hangin. Amo man na sa ibang kung wala ilangan natural uh, ilang ginagam, ginagamitan niya natural. Wala siya. Tapos ang aton nga wala siya naga release ng greenhouse gases ka uh, para sa methane or CO2 kay natural mo lang siya. And ang aton once makadala once magamit ng nuclear plant nga diretso na sa ang aton electricity hindi siya mahal kay barato ang uranium naton kay damo uranium however the initial cost of building a nuclear plant is steep a recent versatile test reactor or PTR project in Idaho is estimated to initially cost between 3.9 and 6 b BN and 550 to 850 million every year for 7 years. This is much more than the initial 3 point billion estimate given by dollars by Idaho National Laboratory head Kemal Pasa Me Toglu. While the while the running cost over 7 years it's, uh, it's more than 219 budget for the Department of Energy entire nuclear technology develop program which sits at 740 million a similar story is true around the world which reactors often come coming in over budget and delayed so ang aton nga cons muna siya ang aton nga ang pagbuild naton sang nuclear power reactors kay mahal mahal git siya masyado o wala problem sa fuel wala problem sa iya consistency pero ang cost nga magbuild ka sang isa kag mag maintain ka sang isa is mahal which wala budget ang wala may ara man budget pero hindi siya makasupply always ng budget sa aton nga mga power reactors nuclear plants like all thermal generation produce waste however unlike other waste teams as it is radioactive but 90% 97% of the waste produced is considered low or intermediate level waste and as such is easily disposed of the nuclear industry produce 30,400 meat meter cube of high level waste globally a year but counter to what many people believe it does not take forever to degrade it is usually generally stored in the interim storage where within just for 40 years its radioactive level decreased to 1000 of the level so muni naman ang aton nga pros ang aton nga advantage sa nuclear power plants ang iya na ano 97% sang iya nga waste is only considered low or intermediate level lang. So, hindi siya parehas sa any other nga anong, any other nga plants na ang gawin is siya dumal. Oo, delikado gin man siya since nuclear. Pero within 40 years ang radioactivity sa aton nga nuclear power plants nagaanubo or ang iya waste nagaanubo sa 1,000 of the level nga mako nga. From 1,000 to 1. So, let's ling on lupos siya ya i-dispose finally the potential for disasters such as Chernobyl and Fukushima is when how considering nuclear power both had devastating effects upon their environment and the, and the community close by however it's to remember that together with three mile island there are only major in over 17,000 cumulative reactor years of commercial nuclear power, power operation in 33 countries so bisan i consider ta siyang subragin man kadelikado ang aton nga nuclear power reactor pero nagadelikado lang siya para sa nang sa Chernobyl kay sa Fukushima nga nasamad siya by natural calamity and to subragin man niya kadelikado since hindi kagid ya kapalapit sa nuclear reactors naton kay ma ano kagid mapatay kagid or hindi ka mapatay damo ya masakit sa imong lawas kag sa palibot naton my plants to animals delikado man sila once ma, ma expose sa radioactive radioactivity so moto na ang pros and cons and that's conclude the end of my report and thank you for listening everyone and that is it